Hey everyone, I have just filled up another sketchbook, so it's time for a sketchbook tour. I take a very long time to fill up any sketchbook, so whenever one is filled up, it feels really good. Now before I show you the pages, let me talk a bit about this sketchbook first. This sketchbook is actually a customized sketchbook that was made by the Society of Physically Disabled in Singapore. So I passed them some watercolor paper, and they provided the hard cover and they binded the paper with the hard cover to produce this sketchbook. So the paper that I passed to them was the Fabriano Cold Press watercolor paper with 25% cotton content. That's the Fabriano Studio line of watercolor paper. This is their own watercolor sketchbook. This is made by them as well, but um, they told me to review one and they actually got my name, the name of my website on their sketchbook. So this is with their own watercolor paper. I'm not too sure what paper this is. This is also another sketchbook that I had them make. And for this sketchbook, I use Archer's hot press paper. Now in terms of quality, um, these are the best sketchbooks that I have used. I mean, uh, if you give them the paper that you like and they put a very nice hard cover, a canvas hard cover on it, the quality is uh, really fantastic. All right, so um, this is the first sketch in this sketchbook. This was drawn last year, October 27, 2016. So that's almost one year ago. I took one year to fill up uh, this many pages. And this was drawn during a sketch walk with the Urban Sketches Singapore. I was drawing outside the salad stop shop. So they have this salad store or salad shop out here. Some sketches were sketching in front of the store and uh, after a while the shop owner had to open the shop so uh, some of the sketches have to leave because they were actually blocking the entrance to the shop. All right, so this is the sketch drawn with pen and ink and watercolor. It's a bit difficult to make out uh, some of the details because the shapes, the lines, they are not that clear. This is a test of some colors. Basically, I'm trying to see what kind of colors these three colors can mix. These colors have appeared in the limited palette series of videos that I have made. So the colors here are Hansa Yellow Medium, Pyro Scarlet, Halo Blue, Red Shade. It's good to do some, uh, some of these color studies in sketchbooks because um, you can always refer back to them. They're very helpful. And this is the sketch that was colored with these three colors. It looks something like this. This was drawn from a reference photo. And I drew this on October 12th. So that's a few days ago. This is another sketch. Again, it's a bit difficult to make out what this is. I made a mistake here. You see this thing here? This is a bit weird. Basically, this is actually a shop house and some people were taking photos in front of the shop house. The shapes are not very strong. My brush, my watercolor brush is getting a bit blunt, so I am unable to go uh, paint those really tiny areas. I need to change my watercolor brush. This is, I think, a video. Uh, this sketch was drawn for a video that I have made for my Patreon supporters. And so is this sketch. Now in one of the earlier videos, I showed a pen and ink drawing of this uh, scene, but I did not show the watercolor process because the watercolor, um, well, now you're looking at it, it doesn't turn out too well. I think the colors are a bit off. It's a bit weird when I see the colors so vibrant. Uh, 
I use too much colors uh, for that. This is sort of like a tonal studies where I use only uh, two colors for mixing. I use, I cannot remember which exact colors I use, probably a cool red and a warm blue so that um, because this is a quite a nice purple so you can only use a cool red and a warm blue to get purples like this. This one was drawn from a reference photo as well. This was also drawn from a reference photo. I'm not sure what ink I used for this. It could be markers. So for this particular sketch, which was also drawn from a reference photo, I use these three colors, yellow ochre, transparent pyro orange, and phthalo blue green shade. Transparent pyro orange is a really nice red color. I really love this color. And with yellow ochre, you can uh, get some really nice skin tones. This was drawn at some cafe, but I did not write down the information of that cafe and that's why it's important to always write down where you draw where you have drawn the sketch because you can refer uh, to that place maybe you want to go back to that cafe to draw again at least you have you know where that place is this sketch was also created for a YouTube video and this sketch was created for a patron uh, video by the way most of the sketches that you are going to see uh, later on most of the sketches are actually created for my patron supporters so for each video that i create i usually create two versions one is the time lapse version which i will post on youtube and the other is the full length tutorial with extra instructions which i will post on my patreon page for my patreon supporters here's another color study this time around i use permanent brown uh, mixed with uh, different colors and this is the sketch i think it's a collage of sketches painted with these three colors this sketch was drawn on location kampong glam area i think i drew this sketch from a hotel room that was quite uh, high up and this was drawn on location as well this was also drawn from the same hotel room but I looked down at a mosque this is a pen and ink sketch where I tried to draw with a genie and all these are actually uh, India ink probably colored with this bottle of India ink which is the Kuretake Black Ink 60. Now Kuretake they make two types of ink one is the black ink the other is the Sumi ink one of them is waterproof and the other is not so if you are interested in buying Kuretake Black Ink make sure you get the correct one. More color studies um, more Daniel Smith colors here are some of the color mixtures. Now the colors are really vibrant. Daniel Smith is a very good brand of watercolor. For this particular sketch, uh, this was drawn with Dr. PH Martin Bombay inks, the colored inks, the colored India inks. So I use a dip pen to draw the lines and then I colored with watercolor. The India inks, they are waterproof when dry but they are, I mean, they are very good inks for drawing, but you should not use them in fountain pens. For this particular sketch, I drew this with Lexington Gray ink. This is the Noodles ink. Mm, I'm not sure if I like this particular sketch. I was just testing out the colors. 
this is golden brown ink if I remember the name correctly and this is Lexington gray ink here's another sketch that I have created for my patron supporters this is a street scene at Waterloo Street here in Singapore it's a very very busy street scene because um, there is a very popular temple just beside all these flower stalls and this is I think another video for my patron supporters this is a scene from Bangkok drawn with the help of a reference photo again this is the territorial defense building in Bangkok again drawn with the help of a reference photo most of the colors that I use are actually from um, Daniel Smith watercolors this is another sketch made for my patron supporters notice this sketch and this sketch it's actually of the same subject this was drawn with pencil and this was drawn with pen and ink I'm not sure why I um, drew two times I think I drew one of them wrongly that's why I drew it again but this time I did not color this these are some of the colors from the Dr. PH Martin Bombay India ink these are the 12 colors from set number two and these two pages are uh, this uh, sketch and the color mixture these are created I'm not sure if I created this for the patron supporters or whether this is part of the limited color video series this was uh, created in September last month um, I cannot remember but anyway the colors that I used here for this particular sketch this um, this was painted with Monte Amiata, Natural Sienna, Organic Vermilion, Indentrum Blue, and Thalo Green. So even with a limited uh, watercolor, even with a limited choice of colors, uh, when you have primary colors, it's actually enough for you to paint a nice sketch. And here's another limited uh, palette. This is New Gamboche, Queen of Crichton Red, French Ultramarine, and Thalo Green. I think I created this for the patron uh, supporters as well. You may have seen the time lapse video um, too on YouTube. Here's another limited palette Lemon Yellow. Green acrylic on red, thalo blue green shade, new gum bosch. This is also another limited palette. This is yellow ochre, Venetian red, cobalt blue. So this color wheel, this is very muted. Notice that there is no red, no bright red color, no bright yellow, and this blue. I think this is very clearly a blue but this too this is definitely not a very bright yellow this is definitely not a pure vibrant red and because of that this particular sketch this is a bit more subdued a bit more dealt down and this is the last page so this is a sketch drawn with the help of a reference photo as well nowadays when I create my watercolor tutorials I try to remember to draw and paint in sketchbooks like this so that I can refer to my artworks easily in the future now before that sometimes I would just paint those color studies on loose sheets of paper or draw this tutorial on a loose sheet of paper and I would actually throw those um, drawings away after the tutorial 
but I realized that it's actually good to just keep them even if the sketch may not turn out that well but they are still good for reference purposes that at least you can see uh, what colors you can get from that particular mixture that particular color study so in this video I mentioned a lot about patron patron is actually a subscription service where you can pledge a certain dollar amount to help out the artists that you like and for my patron supporters in exchange for the money that you pledge to help me out I create tutorials full-length tutorials with extra instructions uh, for you so if you want to support me and my work on YouTube you can support me on patron so that's all for this sketchbook tour and now let me show you a glimpse of other sketchbooks that I'm currently using this was sent to me by Leda Art Supply it actually um, looks like a moleskin sketchbook but it is I think better than a moleskin sketchbook first of all the texture this is a really nice textured cover this is a paperback it has lots of pages the paper the pitch uh, the surface of the pitch is great for pen and ink work it's not that suitable for watercolor but I guess if you want to use watercolor you can but the paper is going to buckle it is best for pen and ink work the paper is really smooth and you can open this flat in terms of quality I really like this this is really fantastic as you can see I still have a lot of pages to go before I can fill this up to put out a proper review but so far I like this sketchbook and I have been sent two other sketchbooks as well this one is a wide format sketchbook with a lot of pages I'm not too sure about what type of pa uh, paper this is this was sent to me by Anna who runs, a, who runs an Etsy shop online and she wanted to send me some sketchbook to check out so this is one of the sketchbooks that she has sent to me and the paper for this is a bit uh, thin compared to watercolor paper but I guess you can still use watercolor on it it buckles slightly but because this is a very thick sketchbook you can just press it down and uh, pages will become flat again so it's still suitable for some light washes but it is best for I think pen and ink and pencil medium comes with a comes, comes with an elastic band here personally I do not like elastic band because after a year or two they will just uh, loosen up and I usually have to cut them away and this is the other sketchbook actually it's not a sketchbook it's a journal that Anna has sent to me comes in this box like this there's some uh, fiber here velvet and this is the journal it's really thick and the cover itself the hard cover itself is really thick as well let me just put that away so this is a journal the paper is really soft see how soft the paper is it is really soft and very thin and this paper is very smooth so I suppose this is best for a ballpoint pen maybe pencil pen and ink if you want to use fountain pen I guess you can uh, use it here but anything that is more wet like watercolor markers this is definitely not very suitable for that so this is really very thick this will take me a few years to actually fill up maybe I will use this on the train while I'm sketching but the paper is really soft I'm not sure how well um, it will be anyway these two sketchbooks or actually these three sketchbooks are currently what I'm using right now and there's this Kearns and Papier sketchbook that I have been trying to fill up but I'm almost uh, I'm only like 
less than half this is only less than half filled so it will take me a while to go through but for those interested in getting this watercolor sketchbook I guess you can handle light washes well but uh, not for really heavy washes because the paper is not very thick all right so that's all for my sketchbook tour I will post all the related links in the video description below for example links to the Society of Physical Disabled in Singapore links to where you can find the Leda Art Supply Art Stores and also the link to Anna's Etsy Art Shop that's all for today's video thanks for watching see you in the next video bye